Ever wondered what happens when a fly lands on your food? Well, it's more than just a nuisance. It's a sunny afternoon, you're preparing a delightful meal in your kitchen, and there it is. A fly, buzzing around, making uninvited pit stops on your carefully prepared delicacies. These seemingly harmless insects are more than just pesky intruders. They're tiny flying vessels of disease. You see, flies are not the cleanest of creatures. Their lifestyle involves frequenting less than sanitary locations, and they are notorious for being carriers of numerous diseases. Every time a fly lands, it might be depositing invisible and unwanted guests onto your food. These microscopic troublemakers could potentially put you and your loved ones at risk for a variety of illnesses. So, the next time you see a fly buzzing around your kitchen, remember it's not just annoying, it's a potential health risk. So, what exactly happens when a fly lands on your food? The process is quite fascinating and disturbing. You see, a fly isn't equipped to consume solid food. So what does it do? It vomits digestive enzymes onto the food to break it down into a liquid form. Appetizing, right? Once the food is in a slurpable state, the fly then tucks in, enjoying the meal you've so kindly provided. But wait, there's more. While it's feasting, the fly might also defecate on your food. It's a rather unhygienic cycle, wouldn't you say? And it's not just the thought of fly vomit and feces on your food that should give you pause. Flies can carry a host of diseases such as salmonella and E. coli. These can be transferred to your food during this process making your meal a potential health hazard. So, it's clear that a fly landing on your food is more than just a minor annoyance, it's a potential delivery system for disease. Now that you know the disgusting truth about what happens when a fly lands on your food, what can you do about it? Well, it's all about taking precautions. Start by keeping your food covered whenever possible. This simple action can do wonders in keeping those pesky flies at bay. Secondly, consider keeping your windows and doors closed, especially during the warmer months when flies tend to be most active. If you prefer to let in the fresh air, consider installing screens as an effective barrier against these uninvited guests. Last but not least, maintain a clean kitchen. This can't be emphasized enough. Regularly clean surfaces, take out the trash, and don't leave ripe fruits out in the open. These practices can significantly reduce the fly population in your home. Remember, a fly landing on your food isn't just a fleeting annoyance, it's a potential health risk. So, take the necessary precautions to keep your food safe from these tiny invaders. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Kelvin's Kitchen for more fascinating food facts.